All right, what's up, everybody? It's Mott's Cage Radio. We're going to take it out to a professional fighter who holds a record of 9-3. and three. Tell the people who you are, my man. What's going on? It's Garrett Joseph from San Diego, California, repping right. victory. All right, my man. Now, uh, obviously, you're in the gym. You're training. Uh, got a chance to talk to your manager the other day. He's got a lot of good things to say about you. Let's start off with how do you get into mixed martial arts, my man? Uh, I grew up fighting. I mean, it's bad to say, but, you know, high school, growing up, okay, uh, going out on the beach, just brawling. So, And wrestling obviously turned into that, too. But uh, after I got um, done with wrestling in high school and college, you know, there was just the next step. Okay, so uh, you, you did some uh, some wrestling in high school and whatnot. Did you uh, – you took that to go to college? Is that what you, you majored in or what? No, I I got one scholarship offer, but, you know, living in the South after Title IX, you know, took away all the scholarships for wrestlers. So, you know, I got one scholarship offer to Pennsylvania, living on Lake Erie. I uh, X that, but I went, to, um, I went to Auburn, wrestled for the club team for about six months until, you know, partying got way. But I was an All-American in high school. Uh, went 41-1 and one my senior year. Wow. Lost The only match I lost was uh, the state finals. So, you know, walked all the way through that and just lo lost to a really good guy. Um, he actually fights now, Matt Junkel. He's a, he's a fighter in MMA now, too. So it is what it is, you know. Two days at practice in school when you want to chase girls and get drunk doesn't really work out, you know? Right, right. I got you there. All right, my man. Now, uh, take me through a typical day. Are you uh, are you a full-time MMA fighter or do you have a day job? I have uh, multiple jobs. Okay. Uh, I'm a personal trainer. I own a, a mobile personal training company, uh, Mobile Victory Mobile MMA and Fitness. I've got a big truck that's... I uh, got an enclosed gym and pretty much in the back of it. You know, I'm a CrossFit and drug instructor at Victory MMA in San Diego, and uh, I also am a bartender uh, Thursday through Sunday downtown in the gas lamp of, of uh, at Las Hadas on Fourth and Market, San Diego. All right. So as much as things change, uh, they still remain the same. That's what I'm right. what I'm guessing at. All right, my man. That's solid. All right, so uh, take me through a typical day of training. I mean, obviously you've got some your your working and whatnot, so you can't train all day. But basically, how does your day break down? Is it multiple sessions? Is it one long session? No, it's always multiple. Um, come in usually. I get a mid to afternoon workout, probably around anywhere from ten to one. Uh, you know, get some good training partners, depending on who's here. We had Phil Davis here today, Dean Lister, you know. It, it's just up in the air on who shows up for that. Either I'll go through a um, jiu-jitsu uh, and MMA practice, or if somebody's not here to show up for that, I usually put myself through a CrossFit or work out with uh, another training partner, like CrossFit, um, you know, cardio workout, uh, pushing some weight around, you know. And then after that, you know, Either have a couple of clients that I have to train, then I'll come back and um, we'll do a night workout, and that's usually uh, striking or another mixed martial arts, depending on what I did later on that day. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I teach CrossFit, so you know the night night classes pretty much go by the way. So I usually take it easy on Tuesdays and Thursdays, get a hard workout during the day, and then get a good night's rest. Okay, fantastic. Now, uh, take us through it. Uh, you got some fights coming up, I'm, uh, I'm assuming. What do you got coming up? Uh, it's a couple of things in the works. Um, it's looking like April 22nd um, on the World Extreme Fighting card. Uh, Ken Shamrock's fighting on that one uh, in Orlando, Florida. And, um, you know, I don't really have anything that I can really talk about right now that's after that. Hopefully some stuff opens up, make the, make the jump up. You know, we'll see what happens. My my one fight for Strike Force was uh, a four day notice fight mm. that you know I dropped thirty pounds, and um, you know just waiting for my my second chance because uh, you got to get one after this thirty pounds. You know, I took that fight and expecting to immediately get you know uh, three months away, you know, a good training camp and get another fight in there, but hadn't happened yet. You know, hopefully it'll happen pretty soon. Okay, fantastic. Well. Uh... Obviously, uh, very interested in seeing uh, what you bring to the cage. I've never seen you fight. Are you? A, I know you said you're a wrestler. Do you try to stand with it, or is that what you do? You take them to the ground, just beat the hell out of them. Uh, you know, a lot of my fighting is, it's gone either way. But um, my most recent fight that I uh, beat a pretty pretty highly ranked uh, opponent, um, 
he was supposed to be a stand-up guy, and we stood him bang the entire time. He was six foot four. He was supposed to be the stand-up striker, and he just couldn't get in on me. Every time he came in to strike, he got peppered in the face and, you know, back down. So he ended up trying to go to uh, the ground and take me down. And, uh, you know, it was a close fight. Ended up me getting the, the decision win over him and winning the stand-up game against a six foot four opponent, which is, you know, I, I pride myself in working on my weaknesses and my weakness, you know, I've got heavy, heavy hands, but, you know, my technique hasn't always been there. In this last fight, I just looked like a pure kickboxer. So it was, it was good to see that and good to see that I'm making, you know, improvements in my weaknesses. So, you know, it's all, it, you always learn something from every fight. All right. So what are you walking around at right now? Uh, right now, I walk around anywhere from 200 to 210. And, and you're yeah. cutting to 170? 185. 185. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Um, it doesn't seem like uh, that's that's too hard of a cut for you. I mean, you've been in the wrestling game for uh, for quite a while, so I'm sure you know all the tips and tricks. Um, anybody out there you'd like to fight? Because I know there's, uh, there's matchups out there. I know you'd like to get your name out there. Any of the upper level guys that uh, you see yourself matching up well against that would get you out there? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> anybody that would push me up in the rankings. Um, you know, it's, it's always if you can get the fight with them. You know, it's usually guys that you know, our upper echelon, you know, they've already got their name out there. They don't want to fight anybody that's good, that's a lower rank. They want to fight the putts that have already lost a number of fights. So, you know, it's hard for me to get a fight against a good opponent because it's a lose-lose for them. You know, they lose to me, they lost to an unknown. And if they beat me, oh, well, they beat an unknown. Right. So, you know, it's it's hard to get those kind of good fights. But um, the organization I'm working with now, you know, we've, they've, they're pretty stacked. So... Uh, Luigi Fioravante has worked his way into the conversation a couple of times, so I think that'd be a good fight. And uh, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm I'm sitting on a beach in Hawaii after I beat Luigi for Fioravante for a WE belt, maybe. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Well, all right, man. I yeah, uh, I appreciate you taking time with me here on Cage Radio. Obviously, I'm gonna take an interest in your career. I'll be following you. Uh, keep us in the loop. Let us know uh, how these fights are. Uh, are going to go, and I want to give you this opportunity to shout out anybody you want, my man. Uh, thanks for all my training partners here at Victory. Um, doing a great job. We're making our way up. Uh, Toby Amata just won. Uh, we've got a couple of guys, Jeremy Stevens, fight, fighting soon. So um, good luck to all my boys, and thanks for having me on Cage Radio. All right, my man. I will definitely talk to you soon. We'll see you, uh, what is it, April 22nd? April 22nd. April 22nd. All right, my man. Wish you the best of luck. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, man. All right, take care. Later.